We all know how important listing images are for good conversion rates. So today I'm going to show you the entire process, A to Z, of how to create your listing images. So we're going to pick out a random product from my bag right here, and then we're going to go pick out random props around the office, in my case since I'm in the studio right now, and then I'm going to go to my studio and build a set from scratch. So let's get started. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. We've got a, we've got a cell phone, a cover, some mint. <laughs> We've got, uh, oh, this could be a good product idea. So we've got a moisturizer. It's got a pretty cute packaging. It's like a mini size moisturizer. So I'm gonna pick out this particular product. It's pretty aesthetic too. So let's see if we can build a nice set for this product. All right, so now that we've picked out a product, let's go to the studio and start setting up. And for this particular listing image, I'm gonna need lights. A backdrop, a mirror sheet, a leaf, and the product, and of course, a camera. Now that I have all my props, let's talk about why I chose these particular props. The product in question is a skincare product which consists of some natural ingredients. Usually with beauty and skincare products, I like to go for a marble backdrop to replicate that washroom setup. If there are any natural ingredients being used in the product, then I either use leaves to communicate the idea of organic products, or I'll simply style it with the ingredients within the product. So for example, this moisturizer has ginseng in it, so I could have used that as a prop too. So there you have it. This is what the final image looks like. Let's take this picture into Canva, which is a free and easy to use online graphic design tool that helps you create images and videos. I'm going to show you how to use this tool to turn this picture into an infographic image for Amazon. Now let's go to the home page and hit the create a design button on the top right hand corner of the screen. I'll then hit the plus icon at the very bottom of the menu to create a custom size. I like to do a 3000 by 3000 pixel image to get a square image with the highest quality possible. Now you're going to select Uploads on the left side menu, upload your image and drag the corners to fill out the image area. Then once again go to the left side menu and click on Elements. Using the search bar, look for the infographics that you want to insert in your image. Some of the main benefits of this moisturizer are that it's cruelty free, vegan and gives you a 72 hour hydration, so I'm going to look for those particular icons. Usually, I like to type in the name of the icon along with the word icon to look for designs. And when you click on the color of the icon, Canva will give you the photo color palette, which is very useful since you can change the colors around to see which would look best on your image. I've also signed up for the free trial of Canva Pro because I'm very picky with my icons and I do not want to be restricted with the designs. Once you've picked out all your icons, make sure you position them symmetrically and resize them to be the same size to make sure your image looks proportional and professional. I've completed the design process, so I will now go ahead and hit the share button on the top right hand corner of my screen to download my image. I like to save it as a JPEG image since it's one of the formats acceptable by Amazon and drag the quality bar to get the highest quality possible. Hit download and it'll save on your computer, ready to be uploaded onto Amazon. And this is what the final image looks like. As a reminder, I do want to let you guys know that I'm shooting in a studio with absolutely no windows at all, which is why I'm using this professional light as a light source. Now, if you have plethora of natural lighting coming in from a window, you do not need to invest in any source of lighting. You can simply set up your product staging right next to the window so that you get ample amount of lighting and one source of light should be enough for this particular exam. For the background, I went for a piece of cardboard and then pasted this marbled background on top of it so that it could stand straight and be sturdy. 
For product styling, you can go for plenty of options. Now, the moisturizer that I was using as a product did have natural ingredients, so I chose a leaf to encapsulate the idea of this product being some kind of a natural product or having natural ingredients. That's what it will communicate to the shoppers or any person seeing this image. I could have also gone for, as an alternative, uh, pieces of ginseng because that was one of their key ingredients. So you can play around with these props and see what looks more aesthetic and what's um, communicating your messaging. I hope that this video has helped you create some aesthetic and highly converting images. Thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you over on the next one.